Hey, what is up guys? Evan Aldo here. Wanted to make you an update on Bitcoin, Ethereum. We'll talk about some of the altcoins too today. Um, if you enjoyed the content, please leave a thumbs up. Always appreciate that. And check out the link to Bybit down below if you're interested in trading. So yeah, and also check out my link to Twitch down below. Live streams are exclusively on Twitch for now. So check that out. Probably going to be going live later today. So yeah. First thing I want to talk about, I mean, we're hitting, we'll talk about we're hitting some major kind of resistance right now in the spiral line. We'll see if we could break through that. I don't think we will be able to. I think we're kind of in the last stages of this rally. It's a little bit more of a short squeeze. If you look at funding rates, like on Bybit, more people have opened shorts on Bitcoin, not as much on Ethereum, I don't think, but that's probably a part of the reason why you're just getting a last leg up to, you know, get a few more people out of um, out of the market who are trying to short, I think. Um, so what I'm looking at too, I mean, a lot of people obviously are talking about the monthly green dot. This confirms in 11 days. The reason I'm more hesitant on this is because what we've seen through this bear market is, especially with like the recession and everything that's going to happen, you know, historically in the three week, every green dot has given you the bottom except the last one. You know what I mean? This was like the deepest one we've had here. It didn't give you the bottom. We just rolled over. Now, I guess you could argue maybe, you know, maybe that was just like a black swan with FTX, something unpredictable with the FTX collapse. And then you, you know, you're coming higher. But I still think, I still think we need to be hesitant. I still think with everything happening, interest rates, Fed is probably going to sound more hawkish. I still think that you're going to come down more here into middle to late next year. Could be wrong, but that's kind of my main take on it. And I think right now for... You know the big area to kind of get in what you want to wait to maybe start DCing back into this assuming this does happen which i think it will curving back into the red here and confirming in the red on the two week also same deal in the three week but the three week may be a while we're not used to we don't know how long this is going to be in the red here it could be in the red for two days or it could be in the red for well i mean three weeks is the middle to confirm it could be in the red for three weeks or it could be in the red for you know three to six months or more maybe a year who knows um, that's another good place to dca in long term so Let's get into some of the lower time frames. What I wanted to talk to you guys about is the main thing that makes me think that this is just still just, you know, a bear market rally and not much more, just a big short squeeze and not much more. Blue triangle, you know, the same thing we had right here. And then this is even more bearish because your RSIs are splitting apart here and the VWAP's coming down on the uh, on the four days. So that's a pretty bearish sign, especially when that does confirm the red dot, which could take a little bit of time here. but. You know, I, I do think you're getting close. I do think you're getting close to kind of the top here with that. And if we want to look to at the two day, split RSI is starting to curve down, VWAP coming down right here, you know, kind of similar to this point, except RSIs are not as split as part, but in the, um, in the anchor wave is higher. So I would give it, I mean, kind of hard to be that bearish where you think it's gonna be exactly like this, but I would give it, you know, a decent shot that you're going to come down for the next few months down to, you know, 500 weekly moving average, maybe around 12 K at that point could take some time here. Maybe it could be quicker depending on what we see. So that's what I want to tell you guys there. And right now, you know, you're getting your 12 hours, 16 hour. A lot of times when you have these rallies, that's what you see. These view ups, they curve back around. And that's a lot of times this green dot is the last one. And then I think on the 16 hour, that's going to be a very strong, you know, indication here, the next kind of green dot. You come down, you get a bearish div there as um, momentum waves are coming down. I think that's going to be a big momentous, you know, change in the trend downward here. Um, and, you know, you're kind of seeing the same thing, you know, just more exasperated on the eight hour. What I'd be looking at, too, is if you get the five hour, get another bearish div on the five hour with money flow increasingly coming out. So there's six hour or even the four hour here next red dot. That could be the end of this. That could absolutely be the end of this. I have not gone short on uh, Bitcoin. There are a few shorts I have, like swing shorts. They have not been stopped out then uh, so far. You know, they're more elongated shorts. If they do get stopped out, I'll just wait for better places to re-enter because there's going to be a move down at some point here. Like this rally is not too sustainable. Maybe we'll have to wait for the Fed to start acting hawkish. But I think in all likelihood, there's a very high probability that you're going to come down from here. So, yeah. And then if we look at, you know, hourly money flow generally coming down these are good places to money flow crossover in the two hour next money flow crossover in 30 minute possibly this is getting overheated possibly would bring you down i wanted to show you yeah this is the spiral line we're talking about and for scalping here this could be a really good scalp short if you get the money flow starting to come back down the 15 minute plus a bearish div same deal with maybe even the 10 minute as earliest could be a little bit of time here um you know especially on a friday i wouldn't be trying to trade i mean you could 
if you're really ballsy trying to, well, this isn't even a bullish bearish div yet, but some people try to trade in the one minute or whatever, but there's a decent probability that this could bring us down here, this jump down. Um, so yeah, let's move on to Ethereum right now. And Ethereum is still at um, 630, you know, this area, a little bit higher, just to, so we kind of squeezed out probably all the stop losses there. I'm not gonna tell you where my stop loss is, but it's above where we are now, obviously. Um, and if we look at Ethereum, you know, it's kind of, I just wanted to show you kind of the same thing on Bitcoin, you know, on the high time frames, you know, the five day you know, blue triangle back there, that was a big drop down. I think Ethereum inevitably will end up somewhere in the bottom between this area, 700 to, or high sixes, or a little below, probably 600 to right there between this area in sometime this year, next six to 12 months, probably, maybe sooner. Um, well, most likely we'll probably a little bit sooner than that, but, yeah, do we have a train going by? <laughs> by? Oh no, it's the washing machine. Oh well, hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. I apologize, but um, that's what we're looking at right here. And you know, very overheated on your 10 hour and your 12 hour. I think this next red dot here is probably gonna give you what you need. The two day, especially here, blue triangle, green dot, like here, and then red dot, that's what gave you the top there. So a little jump up and then you get your red dot. That's what's gonna be huge. Same kind of deal here on the three day. I'd be more inclined for the two day red dot for Bitcoin as well for a potential trend reversal downward here. And yeah, so three hour, two hour, I've been talking about this, <clears throat> excuse me. These money flow crossovers are gonna be pretty strong. I've been in the green for a while in the four hour, been in the green for a long, long time in the three hour, two hour. Most of these probably in all likelihood coming into the red will bring you down. So those are things to wait for there. Also, just like Bitcoin here, potential 10 minute, 15 minute bearish divs, the money flow coming out probably will give you what you need for a potential, potential top here. You know, it's Friday, people get their paychecks. That could be one of the reasons you get a little bit more of a short squeeze here, but we're already, where it's, okay, we're already down a few dollars from that top there. I don't know if anything too significant is at that point, but if we look at Bitcoin here, we're coming down slightly, coming down to that point. You lose that point, that's what's gonna be more bearish right there. So yeah, I wanna look at a few of these. I mean, XRP is just very boring in this range for a while. If things get really bearish, you know, we'll see more news with the lawsuit soon. Be really bearish, you break downward. Very low technical targets here. You know, this is probably bad worst case scenario is at four cents. Break upward, could be crazy. So that's the main thing we gotta talk about, but this is just goes on forever, really. We never really see anything. Two week bullish div, maybe something to keep an eye on, kind of like almost over there, but mm, I almost feel like it could play out kind of like this one in 2019, just bring you down, I don't know. Cardano as well, we look at some of these altcoins and Bitcoin dominance has been so bullish and we look at Bitcoin dominance bullish, you know, very bullish on, on the uh, monthly there. This has been a Bitcoin dominant rally. So that means probably when we have the correction, Bitcoin dominance is still gonna come up and alts are really gonna bleed. That's why I've been more inclined to short alts right now rather than short Bitcoin for that reason. Look at right here in Cardano. See, split our size, same thing. That's so similar to how it was in April. That could be a big drop down for, you know, potential real bubble pop pattern down to like 11 cents, 15 cents, somewhere around there in mid to late this year. So that's what we gotta be careful for there. Same deal with Solana, you know, 23 we're at, 23.7 right there. You know, blue, tri blue triangle right there. I think still the majority of people are probably, the majority of people trying to short this have probably kind of given up. It's the same thing, a little relief right here. Can you make a little higher? Sure. I feel like some of these alts won't make higher highs like Bitcoin and Ethereum have because a lot of the alts are really bleeding against Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. I feel like a lot of these may not make new highs against them. Could be wrong, but I think, you know, may not make their new highs you know, compared to their January 15th highs around there. So that's what I think right there. Also, the last thing I wanna show you here on the S&P 500, you do have on the three day a, a blue triangle and you know, these have all bring brought you down, you know, red hiking ashy candles here. It could be more like this, you know, it could be more like April and that's a big drop down. If it's more like April into June, that could be a big drop down in February, March for the crypto markets. So that's what we gotta keep in mind. Um, so yeah, guys, that's all I got. Please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the link to buy bit below if you're interested. If you're interested in some of my trade calls, exclusive TA, not right 100% of the time, but we have a really good community in there and I've had some really good trades, a lot of good analysts in there. 
Link in description below for the exclusive Discord. You might want to wait for the first till the first to sign up though, because you will get charged again on the first. So uh, check that out if you're interested. And uh, let's see what else is there. I do have a trading course if you're interested in that. Really good beginner trading course. A lot of people have really liked it. There's a discount code down below. It's on evanaldo.com. So check that out. And that should be everything for now, guys. Hope you have a good one. Goodbye.